Hey everyone, it is Sunday, July 16th. The time is 2.45 p.m. and the temperature here in downtown Toronto, or I guess a little bit north of downtown Toronto, is 25 degrees Celsius. And I say a little bit north as I am just north of Bloor Street, which is the northern boundary. And this is the intersection of Young and Bloor. And I thought for today, we'd go for a walk around the Yorkville neighborhood. There's another look at Young and Bloor, and the scramble crossing is in effect. So I will start by heading west along Bloor Street West here through a stretch known as the Mink Mile, and maybe I'll go over to Avenue and then I'll wander around Yorkville Village for a bit. Sometimes there's events and that sort of thing going on in Yorkville on the weekend, but I think this is just a regular kind of weekend in Yorkville. There's Aritzia. And look at that, where H&M recently closed is a fabric land. And they've got almost an identical store on Queen Street West that also recently closed. I wonder if that one is destined to be a fabric land as well. And that is Holt Renfrew on the right, a large Canadian luxury department store. And it looks like there's a big crowd in front of Italy. Maybe I'll see if I can cross the street here. And we'll see what that is all about. And this on the left is the Mandy Life Center, previously the tallest residential building in the city. I've been meaning to do a walk through there. But Yorkville is loosely bound by Bloor Street here to the south, Avenue Road off to the west, Davenport Road to the north, and Young Street to the east. There's a line up here for gelato, it looks like. Fine, we'll go to your walk. And that's a Italy gelato stand. I went to the Italy in the World Trade Center in New York City, but I have yet to go to this one. And this is Bay Street. And according to Wikipedia, it says Yorkville is part of the Annex neighborhood, but I don't think that's correct. The Annex is a neighborhood just west of here.
I think today the Honda Indy is taking place. Well, I think I know today it is. But you can't hear the Indy cars this far north. There's Sephora. There's a lot of high-end retailers in this area. This is kind of Toronto's equivalent to Fifth Avenue. AKA places I will never shop. And just to the north is Yorkville Village and we'll be wandering through there in a few minutes. I think the population of Yorkville is between five and six thousand people. There's an old pottery barn location. And a Rolex. Right next door to whatever this place is. Royale de Versailles. I'm kind of out of my element when it comes to these higher-end retailers. <laughs> and there's the Winners and Home Sense hiding behind that construction hoarding. Prada, Cartier. Watch where you're going. Those people just stepped in front of the bike lane without checking or stepped in front of that cyclist. There's a Burberry next to a Tiffany and a Louis Vuitton. And where this rather awesome looking building stands used to be a flagship Club Monaco. Now there's retail for lease signs in front. I would imagine that is very expensive real estate. And we are at Bloor and Avenue Road. There's the Royal Ontario Museum. The Church of the Redeemer. A very expensive, recently remodeled Hyatt Hotel. And a look towards Queen's Park where we have the CN Tower looming in the distance. Some weird bug just landed on my hand I had to blow off there. There are a few festivals going on today. There's an Indian one I think doing a parade south from Dundas Square. 
making its way into the beaches eventually. Or rather, the islands. There is Big on Bloor between Lansdowne and Duffer. I went through that one yesterday. There's a jazz festival going on down at Woodbine Beach. And I thought about going there today, but it looked like there would be a healthy dose of copyrighted music there. <laughs> Let's turn right here onto Cumberland. And this will lead through an area known as Yorkville Village. Yeah, yeah that's a new one. Really basic building. Um, which in the 60s was a bit of a hippie paradise in the city. But what happened was in 1966, line two of the subway system opened up. And with the addition of Bay Station here, as well as Bloor Young and St. George, just to the west, property values started to skyrocket. And this area gentrified and intensified and a lot of the hippies were driven out and it changed in character quite a bit. There's the Canadian Lululemon. There's a popular gelato spot and Hemingway's. Probably my favorite place in Yorkville. It's quite affordable as well. They've got a really cool patio. Here's a plaque commemorating public transport in Yorkville. Speaking of which, we are right by one of the entrances to Bay Station. Which also features Lower Bay Station. And just north of here, it's worth pointing out. I don't think I'll be walking through this on this one, but this is Old York Lane. And that connects Cumberland up to Yorkville Avenue. And this big rock here on the right weighs 650 tons. And it took 20 flatbed trucks to bring it in. And it's been dated as being over a billion years old. It was part of the Canadian Shield. And before that, an ancient mountain system. And it looks like we are missing some live music. They're in between sets. There's a lot of cafes and restaurants in this area. This park was built to be something of an urban oasis above the subway line, and I believe this was originally where that Joni Mitchell song Big Yellow Cab was based on. Or Big Yellow Taxi, I remembered it wrong. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot and converted it back into paradise, or at least a park. What a nice shaded area. Popular enough that pretty much every seat is taken. And Belair Street here has been pedestrianized this summer. So I will go 
up Belair, up to Yorkville Avenue. There's another gelato stand over there. As that Mercedes blows right through a stop sign, it didn't even slow down. Belair Coffee Plus. Left is sassafras. This place is excellent. Yamoto, that's a teppanyaki grow. Popular day for gelato. There's the gelato shop. And we are at Yorkville Avenue. Not uncommon to see supercars and that sort of thing rolling through this neighborhood. Chanel, Versace. Here's Old York Lane once again. And the Oxley, that place is pretty good as well. That's not super expensive. Right across the street from one of the most expensive hotels in the city, the Hazleton. And straight ahead is Yorkville Avenue. This restaurant here is Chibo. It's a half decent car, a McLaren. I went to Chibo in Young and Eglinton last night. I had a mushroom pizza and a charcuterie board alongside some adult beverages. And they've got another location down in King West. They might have a few more locations as well, but those are the three that I know of.
And this is Hazleton Avenue, which becomes a very nice residential street just north of here. And Yorkville Village on the left is a small shopping mall that used to be called the Shops at Hazleton Lanes. Oh, they've changed some of the public art here. I think there used to be a maple leaf right here. Now I'll walk along Scullard Street. Which will be a bit quieter than the previous streets I've walked so far on this one, but Maybe at Bay Street, I'll head down to Yorkville Avenue and then walk back over to Young. And while Scholard Street has its share of businesses, what it seems to lack are restaurants and cafes. And it's also got some very expensive residential homes. Just lining the street directly. And that is the newer Four Seasons Hotel. When the Toronto International Film Festival is in town, this area is often teeming with celebrities. I wonder what's going in here. I don't think Scholard will ever get as busy or as popular as Yorkville Avenue or Cumberland. I think all it'll take are some cafes and a gelato shop. I think you'd see a lot more people in the area, although the residents here probably would be opposed to that. The Brow House, simply eyebrow perfection. And we are at Bay Street. There's D-Bar across the street. That's a fairly popular night spot. Although you'll have to take my word for it as I've never actually been. I've just heard from other people. So I guess I'm the one taking their word for it.
back in towards Yorkville Village. Just gliding through the red light. I think that might be the McLaren we saw earlier. And there are always nice cars in this parking lot. It's the Four Seasons, the old Four Seasons. It's actually right there in the center of the shot. That's since become a condominium. As per that guy's chalk art, that fire station has been around since 1876. There's an old library branch as well. Toronto has a really impressive collection of old libraries and fire halls. We've got one of each right next to each other here. I kind of like this condo here on the right. And it's back to Young Street. Oh, the Town Hall Square. Oh, that's where it comes. Straight ahead is the Toronto Reference Library. And it looks like I had no choice but to cross over to the other side here. So I will just head back towards the intersection of Young and Bloor.
Oh, that's where that school. This is right where I started the video. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this walk through Toronto's somewhat swanky Yorkville neighborhood. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides a threads account there and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way as we are back at Young and Bloor and now I will disappear into the subway and make my way home Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Yoink!